Good morning, guys. Welcome, everybody that's here um, to another live. Um, went another hour earlier this morning. I'm still testing out times for everybody, seeing what works best, um, seeing what all of you guys enjoy as a quick welcome for those of you that are looking for a live workout. It's exactly what this is. I am going to be on my bike erg today because uh, I'm still recovering, not allowed to be rowing yet. And uh, so I'm going to be on my bike. However, what I would encourage is that whatever machine you have or whatever, I'm going to give you both a workout as well, a non-machine based workout, I'll have a body weight workout that you can do as well, um, or use any of your concept two machines or any other machines for that matter and join in. Um, I'm going to, we're, I'm essentially setting the cap as one hour, one hour of workout. And inside of that hour today, for example, um, I am trying to spread my wings a little bit. And so you're going to join me in that. I'm going to work on five minutes on five minutes light. So the objective today is that we essentially do six rounds of five minutes on five minutes, easy pace. So on is going to be relative for you. It's going to be dependent upon, uh, by the way, if I can get a quick mic check, I was just want to make sure that you guys are picking up audio just fine from my headset. Um, Unclip. Sorry, I was clipped in already. Uh, so I always want to make sure um, for me, intensity is not going to be that high in my on minutes. Um, spinning down after a Zwift race, concrete head. All right, loud and clear. Fantastic. So uh, first off, welcome for those of you that haven't been here before. Um, so the objective for me today in my five minutes on is going to be just checking my pace essentially like what am i comfortable with where can i take it uh to that still feels within a comfort range of recovery for me and then for you i want you to uh teresa hobson good morning i'm ready yes i can hear you fantastic uh, i want you guys to take that intensity as needed if you feel like you need to crush it during your five minutes on do that let that be your guide for today and, uh, and go ahead and take that on. And then in our five minutes off, it's going to be five minutes of light, easy spinning where we go back to conversational pace and we just check in with a base pace, something that we can manage. And that's going to allow us to kind of filter through our workouts. Um, my wife just got into the room. She's going to be working out here this morning. The daughter is not with today. Uh, she is with grandma and grandpa as, uh, as we traditionally do. So we have just the two of us this morning. Um, it's always a nice Wednesday date night for us. And then she stays the night with them. So, um, in the 10 minutes today, hello community. Hey, concrete. I'd always give each other a shout out every day. I want you guys to check in with each other. That's why we're doing this is to give you guys community to have to work out with when uh, we may all be in a weird place and not have that community of our own. So any other things? Uh, oh, for the body weight workout, here's what I would like is that in each of, uh, oh, my wife's name is Kian. My wife's name is Kian. Um, they were asking what your name is. Um, yes. Yes. Our mind and the grandparents. Absolutely. Um, uh, with, uh, oh, the workout today. So those of you that are, are doing a body weight option, you guys are going to follow the same five on five off, off parameters that we are. But what I was, what I would like is that you're going to hit a, a circuit during that five minute time. And in that circuit, you are going to do 10 air squats, 10 push ups, 10 burpees, 10 sit ups. Okay. So you're going to take those four movements and cycle them through for five minutes, 10 of everything, get as many rounds as you can inside of the five minutes, then you get five minutes off. And you're going to do that at the same time that we do. Last week, I saw a couple on the rowing machine at my gym, and I asked them what what got them started. Oh, I can't wait to hear Nagers one, two, three. I can't wait to hear uh, what their response was. Okay, I'm going to get started. No way. They said it was my videos that got them started. That's amazing. And you just like saw them at the gym using the machines. That's really cool. All right. So I'm going to set up uh, today. I'm actually going to set my, um, since we're doing five on five off, I'm actually going to set the monitor accordingly. I've just been doing one hour, but we're going to set it <clears throat> accordingly because a, that's nice for me to see a little bit of something different on here. So 
Uh, again, if you guys are here for the first time and you haven't before, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get alert and the, the bell. The bell is what will alert you when actually we release a video. So like when something gets scheduled, then it, you'll make sure that you see it. Uh, and then please share and like this video. It's the way to tell YouTube that, hey, this is a good thing and other people should see this. So we greatly appreciate it. Uh, from the main menu on a concept two, I'm going to select workout. That's the B button, then new workout D button, then intervals D button, intervals time B button. And then I'm going to change the set time to five minutes. So to do that, I need to hit the plus button. That's the B button one, two, three, four times. That'll put me at five minutes because it started on one. Then I need to hit the right arrow. That's the A button one, two, three, four times. That takes me down to set rest time. And then the plus button five times to change it to five. Um, and that is going to be uh, the B button one, two, three, four, five times. Now I have five on, five off. So during that five off, it's not going to be tracking. It's going to be just counting down the time, but that's okay. That's where we want our conversational pace. So you'll still get physical credit. You just may not get the uh, in-machine credit. Joshua Forster, uh, thanks for all the great content. You're welcome. Dan, real name. Please be careful of leaving kids with your older family members, kids. Mason, trying to COVID, trying to fade this out. I know it's hard and sucks. Thank you for the heads up. I appreciate that. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to kick this thing off. Does everybody have your monitors or machines set with me? Just give me a thumbs up or an okay if you do. I am going to get my feet set hit check mark okay i have my five minutes on five minutes off so that means we're going to start five minutes on so those of you that are doing body weight workout you guys are going to start with your circuit um again what i say with squats push-ups uh squats push-ups burpees sit-ups 10 of everything and uh and you're going to go for five minutes with us and then i'll just you know say when we actually hit the five minutes off okay um, so I've got my machine set. If you do two, we're going to get this thing rolling in five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Okay. So we're starting with our five minutes on, take that to whatever level of on you want it to be. Um, I am just finding my pace right now and uh, I want you to as well. You need to pick a pace where you don't fade during five minutes. You need to be able to maintain consistency there. You need to be able to hold it all the way through. This shouldn't be something that taxes you in the first round. And in fact, you should be looking at every round of five minutes on as something that you can do faster and faster each round. So if you're coming out of the pace right now that's so hot, <laughs> that you're not going to be able to go faster in the second or third rounds or even the sixth round, then you need to taper, pull back a little bit, pull back on those reins. So for those of you that are joining us, coming in a little late, five on, five off, um, challenging yourself on that five minutes. Everybody takes their own pace. No prescription here. Other than challenge yourself for five. And as we get into it, I'll probably start giving you some little bobs and weaves inside the five minutes. Um, giving you something to change it up. Might have you do some rate changes and uh, testing it out. So that way it doesn't just feel like a stagnant five minutes every time. If you're on the bike, I'm at uh, 79 RPM right now. If you need a cadence, and I'm over a two minute split, but again, my split is not your split. I'm in recovery mode right now. I'm taking my doctor's orders, coming back slowly. So, you know, don't, don't stack yourself against me. If you're on the rower right now, I want you guys thinking about keeping that stroke rate maybe a little bit lower than you're used to, and instead forcing more power through each stroke 
instead of trying to take the rate up high. So if you tend to rate high, bring that stroke rate down and instead focus on good output. We're over the halfway point of this five minutes. We're in the garage, it's quite cold here in San Diego right now. Concrete Head, how's everyone doing today? UCI and Leeds on a war level code red. Jesus, bells on it. Dang. We aren't there yet in San Diego. Uh, thankfully, we have property here. So at least we have a spread out from people. You know, we're even if we go on mandated home quarantine, we're not, uh, or whatever they want to call it. We're not uh, confined to a tight space. I'm sorry for those of you that are. I know that can't be easy right now. And that's why we're doing this. Give you a community to get behind. Give you something to do every day. Give you a way to get your energy out. Get some, ex get some exercise, get some workouts. By the way, for those of you that haven't before, um, know that we have a 30 day training program that we're giving away for free right now. So uh, it's on social. If you go to our Instagram, you'll see it. You can sign up. It's five days of, um, five days of erg workouts, two days of biker, two days of skier. So whatever machine you have, you can grab those workouts, any kind of machine it'll work. So go download it 30 days of workouts. To so give you a plan if you need one. Um, that way you don't have to wait for me. You don't have to be here for these morning lives if you don't want to. Or you can do more workouts if you need extra on top of what we're doing. My wife looking like an Eskimo over here. She has her headphones in. She can't hear me. I don't know a good Tabata app. Oh, and there's our rest. All right. So, hit that down period. So you will collect total meters when you hit a rest period. So, you know, don't lag off completely. Um, but do continue moving. The five minutes rest here. Um, I see. Correction, I see, okay, brain fade today. <laughs> uh, I know the brain fade, I can feel you, concrete head. Dan, I think you said? Um, let me go back and check that. Ah, oh, Dan, that's nice. I like being able to say Dan instead of concrete head. <laughs> um, so, yeah, during these, during these off periods, keep it moving. It's not a stop and get off the machine time. If you're doing your body weight workouts, yes, you will be stopping. Um, I would encourage you to keep moving, however. Don't sit down. So if you have to go take, a, take loops around your apartment, take loops around your house, do that. Okay. Something to think about. Whenever you're in your recovery period, just focus on big exhales. Exhaling completely, getting the air from your gut out. Work on that exhalation, getting out that used air, bringing in fresh air to oxygenate that body. You'd be amazed how just focusing on your breathing can really impact the way that your body responds to a workout, the energy levels it's able to maintain so I would encourage you to think that through. Uh, and you know what, let's just all do that together. Take 10 breaths, focusing on the exhale, no panting, okay?
All right, I'm warming up. That was quick. <laughs> Thought the sweatshirt would last longer. Okay, so focusing on those big exhales, you should notice that it brought your heart rate down, brought your breathing rate in control. We're gonna get ready to go for our next <laughs> Dan, good song. Yeah, I'm curious what music is everybody listening to if you're listening to music. I am not running it today because I think uh, running music in the background, YouTube demonetizes the video. So, <laughs> hey, they, uh, they don't let us do that. I mentioned that yesterday, but background music is funny. The YouTube crawlers will pick it up from 100 feet away. Casey, Harry, what are you doing? Oh, okay. If you're just tuning in, five minutes on, five minutes off, six rounds on whatever machine you have, five at a higher intensity, something you can maintain for five minutes, and then five minutes of just active recovery. If you don't have any machinery, 10 push-ups, uh, 10 air squats, 10 push-ups, 10 burpees, and 10 sit-ups, as many rounds as possible inside 10 minutes. Good to encourage people to work out at home. Be safe and healthy. Yep, exactly. Med below. Face area. Okay. Dan. I don't know what that means. Three, <laughs> two, one, and we're getting it on again, okay? I just said we're getting it on again. That's a weird way of saying that we're starting our next round. All right, let's pick up that intensity again, okay? Five minutes, settling in. I'm probably gonna get a little quieter than I have been during these on five minutes. Oh, got it down. <laughs> yeah, YouTube's a funny space, but hey, let's just do this, right? The YouTube overlords are watching. For me, I don't know about you, I know we all have our own struggles, but as I'm going through this five minutes, the hardest thing for me is learning to retrust my lung. My right lung is the one that collapsed. Um, it's learning to retrust it and feeling like it's going to be there for me. So it's one of my biggest hurdles right now as I'm going through this. Every moment, every single pedal stroke is just like a humanity check-in for me. Like, oh, yeah, you're human. You have finite resources. You're not invincible. Is this thing going to continue to hold up? It's a different headspace for sure than I've ever had to be in. So I've stepped up my RPM. Uh, from 79, I'm bouncing between 79 and 80 right now, Dan. Yeah, I've been, I'm sure you do, my man. Um, no bleeding, thanks. Well, no real bleeding. When I had the tube in my chest, there was some, some blood coming out, but it was very, very minimal. Very, very minimal. Over the, over the five days, I had my little box connected to me with the little water level on the side. It, they never had to change it, so. Can I talk about breathing on the rowing machine, Danny? Sure. So, your breath on the machine essentially ties you to a rate. It's important to think about it that way, that your breath rate helps to determine your stroke rate. And it's important for you as a rower to find what stroke rate matches what breathing rate and that the two go hand in hand. So if you need to take your stroke rate up or down, you adjust your breathing rate to help you move one direction or the other. Now, how do you breathe when you're running? Well, that's pretty independent per person. I am a two breath per stroke person. 
where I take an inhale. <laughs> Hold on. No, I'm exhaling all the way through the dry. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling through the recovery. Exhaling through the drive again at the catch, starting to catch. So I take two breaths per stroke. Now just the rate of that increases or decreases as the intensity or the stroke rate goes up or down, but I always maintain that breathing rate. That doesn't mean that's right. But what it does mean is that you, when you're on the machine, need to be focusing on your breathing rate and learn to control it so that you use the same breathing rate all the time. And then you're not just guessing whenever you're on the machine. I think that's the important part. You never wanna be guessing about any of your physiological metrics when you're on the machine. The only thing you need to guess about is will my body hold up long enough to get the times that I need you know, in this particular workout. That really, at the end of the day, should be your only concern. If your brain is thinking about mechanics, if your brain is thinking about breathing, it's gonna make it really hard for you to perform at the level that you want when you actually get into the workout. So, Danny, I hope that makes sense. Guys, this is definitely a great time for questions. Here's where we can answer them, talk about them. Um, I'm here for you, that's why we're doing this. These lives are our opportunity to come together as a group, think of me as your coach. So if you got questions during the workout, that's a coach's job and that's off. Um, it's a coach's job is to make sure that uh, you know and you're comfortable with what you're doing and that you, they can offer help, guidance, modifications, you just ask, okay? Um, Patricia, glad to see you're back, thank you. Who knows when I'll fully be back, where I'm still not. I'm, this is basically the only thing I can do all day. Very, very little actual work on the back side of this. But I know that this is part of the recovery and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's less <laughs> work than it is recovery. Danny, I think that I'm doing something like you, but sometimes I need to swallow saliva and then return back to breathing. <laughs> yeah, the saliva question. What do you do with it? Um, I generally leave my mouth open and it helps like dry the spit in my mouth. Uh, but yeah, Christina, totally understand. <laughs> I don't expect you to be in your five minutes on and typing questions. Dan, let it fly. Yeah, just spit as you go. I know guys who do that. You just never want to be sitting in front of them in the boat. But uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, the spit definitely happens. There are times where you have to swallow while you're trying to breathe and then get back to your breathing rhythm. Yeah, you can have a bucket if you want. I think learning to control what you do with your spit is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of a, a better strategy than keeping a bucket. It's like uh, we used to have a guy on the team who would throw up after every workout, didn't matter. I mean, as long as there was intensity involved, he would throw up. And they would always bring buckets over to him, you know, with two minutes left in the workout. Uh, Coxon would run over and put a bucket behind him for that session. And uh, and he would throw up after every single workout. And eventually the coach just said, you know what, that's enough. You're, you, I know you don't have to throw up. It's not a necessity. And started refusing the bucket. So the coxswain would be running over and he would stop them, take the bucket, not give it to him. I think he had one accident, like the first time. And after that, he just stopped throwing up. For what that, <laughs> for what that analogy is worth. Or is that an allegory? Which one is that, anybody? Yeah, for sure. I think so. Yes, it's definitely secured to the wall. Just as long as you don't have a whole lot of up and down. Damn, wish I'd known you were going live before I worked out this morning. Sergeant Hulkus Big Toe. <laughs> I like that name. So this is interesting for those of you who are looking for a mod who may be stuck at home. 
my wife back here has a band tied around um, our squat rack and she is has the band around her waist and is running. So for those of you who can't go outside, can't go for a run, it's an excellent way to train your resistance run if you have bands. Find a very secure surface. <laughs> like if you can go around a door handle and then close the door so that you're almost like double locked in, that could be a way of doing it. Um, so something to think about for you if you're needing modifications to running or getting outside. That was actually pretty good, smart. I didn't give her that, that was hers. She's got headphones in too. So they're bouncing to the music. So for my splits on that second piece just now, I was able to drop uh, 0.5 seconds off of my split. So again, my recommendation, every single five minute piece, just chip away a little bit faster. You don't wanna be, um, let me take some more quick. Um, you don't want to be getting slower as the piece goes on. Who is that? DS. Um, Sergeant Holgus Big Toe. Make sure that you keep checking in because I'm doing these every day. So, uh, Dan, baby boom, late December. All the people locked up and home. <laughs> yep, it's going to happen. Uh, 10. Hello from VN. Just got my Concept 2 Model D today. Fantastic. Welcome. Okay, here we go. Another five minutes in. Tan, this is a good first workout for you. I hope you're gonna do this one with us. Okay, five minutes on. Job security, baby catcher. Baby catcher, welcome. Good to see you. And yes, job security for you, for sure. <laughs> Start planning for nine, 10 months from now. Uh, same tomorrow, same time. Might Time might change tomorrow. We'll see. I'm feeling it out. I'm seeing when people come and that'll help me determine when, uh, what time to host the workouts. Tan, your videos are pretty helpful. Thanks a lot. Hope you keep it up. I will. For you guys. Ooh, she's getting some strength going back there. Barbell's coming out. I missed the barbell. Okay, settling in. One minute down. Streaming similar times each day, Joshua. That's the plan. I may go back to trying like a noon. Um, just to see how many people are able to make it. Because really at the end of the day, that's pretty important. Shane, wishing you the best in your recovery and your rowing. Breakouts are helping me a ton. That's from, ooh, Nakbu. Noyan, will you, can you help me? Can you give me a phonetic spelling of your first name? I really appreciate that, sorry. I wanna say it right. Helping me prep for dragon boat season. Perfect. Good, good. Oh, just boo. Okay, cool. How do you pronounce the uh, 2.30 p.m. in the UK? How do you pronounce the N-G-O-C? When? When, boo? Okay. All right. There we go, we got it. After a while, your body will be on fire and you can need a short end shirt. Trust me. Yeah. You know, I have this thing about, I like being warm during my workouts. I don't like getting too cold. So I'll often wear, like, I have long, long uh, tights on right now, and this long sleeve shirt, and I'm totally okay staying hot during a workout. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't bother me too much. I'd rather be hot, stay really warm, than to start cooling off. Okay, let's all take a focus. If you're on the rower, I want you to take a focus 20. It's 20 strokes. Focusing on your power output, your mechanics, okay? 
I'm gonna take 40 pedal strokes. Ready? Here we go, focus 20, let's go. Uh, that's 40 for me. I'm sure that went a lot faster than 20 strokes on the rower for you. Stay focused. Stay engaged, okay? Damn. Budgie smugglers for me. <laughs> Need to be cool. <laughs> yeah. I've been wearing my cycling shorts the other days. Okay, stay on that focus 20. You're inside the final minute of this piece. Banded sprints. Tons of water. Last thing you want on the bike is to overheat yourself, but that is learning process like me. Me went with the indoor run. That's true. It's amazing, especially on an actual bike. When I'm on my road bike, how you don't even notice you're sweating because it all just evaporates so quickly. And you have to be so super conscious of staying hydrated. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Easy. All right. This is a nice piece, guys. Yes, the water. doing weighted reverse lunges right now for anybody who's looking for motivation for off the machine movement. All right, let's do a quick, I know it's a lot of people tuning in. Let's do a quick location check. Where is everybody today? Where are you from? This is what working from home is all about. That's exactly right, Christina. Today, do you do any kind of long distance rowing session like equal to a marathon? Um, I will do power hours, not now, obviously in my recovery, but, um, I'll do power hours, which is like, typically I'm hitting, let's say about 16, 16 plus in my hour on the machine, but I typically won't sit for very long sessions. I just don't have the time or the patience. Um, uh, Christina, you're absolutely right. This is what working from home is about, and it's at least about, finding a community that we can all join together, right? And that's the intention here. Um, all right, so Christina, you're in Scotland. Amazing. Carlos, Knoxville. All right. Joshua, England. Sergeant Holkus, Big Toe, Cleveland. Vu, Charlotte. Teresa, Westchester. Tan, Vietnam. Yes! You're the first... The first viewer that I've seen from Vietnam. Amazing, Tim. That's so cool. You truly are making us a global ride today. Uh, DS, originally from Cuba, now living in Lower Marion. We'll consider it Cuba. Shane Island. Fantastic name. I had to make the joke. Did you know that I still can't get to this day? Both my parents are still alive. Um, I'm 35. I still can't get a straight answer from my parents as to how I got the name Shane. I have differing stories. My parents are divorced. I have different uh, stories from both sides. One says it was based off of the Western, the book, also a movie. Um, the Western Shane. <laughs> That's my dad's response. And my mom's response um, is that she had a niece with a boyfriend who was so nice and his name was Shane. That's the story behind my name? This is terrible. <laughs> it was like nothing. <laughs> it's like, oh, I, uh, you know, said this nice, this guy just, you know, 
I gave a guy a sandwich. His name was Shane. It was memorable. <laughs> like, that's my name. I prefer the Western version because at least that connects with some people. By the way, if you've never heard of the book or the movie Shane, I highly encourage you to go watch it while we're all working from home, stuck inside Netflixing everything. See if you can find the movie Shane. It's a classic Western, as classic as it gets. And the, the quintessential quote from the movie, which maybe you've heard and you never knew where it came from, is Shane, come back, Shane, as he rides away on his horse into the sunset. Oh, just a classic. And then you can think of me as you're watching, you're like, why am I watching this like 70 year old Western film? <laughs> Hey, at least it beats the boredom sometimes. Okay, a minute left on this recovery period. Gonna go into our next five minute piece. Now, I'm gonna throw a little bit something different at you. Here's what I would like. We're gonna play with, I've heard of it, but we'll have to finally watch it. Shane McCarthy. Yes, you should. Um, okay, because they're good. So, so for the next five minute period, we're gonna spend each minute moving through different stroke rates or RPMs. So think of it as um, intensity is going to step up as rate steps up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go low, medium, high, medium, high. All right? So on stroke rate, let's call that 20, 24, 28, 24, 28. On RPMs, I'm gonna say uh, 75, 80, 85, 80, 85. Here we go. So 75 RPM if you're on a bike. If you're on a machine, I want you at uh, 20 RPMs, uh, 20 stroke rate, sorry. I'm seeing RPMs on my bike. Stroke rate of 20. So what we're focusing on right now is improving output, not using rate, okay? So while your rate is staying relatively low, you're trying to drive more power for every stroke or every pedal stroke, which is what I'm focusing on. Okay. In 20 seconds, we're gonna make the next shift. Rowers, you're gonna go up to 24. Okay. If you're with me on the bike, you're going up to 80 RPMs, and the intensity level is gonna ratchet up. Okay. Here we go. Getting ready to go. Five, three, two, one. Here we go. 24 on the stroke rate, or 80 on the RPMs. So you're gonna feel that mid-level, that mid-range right now of your ability to put out as well as that rating, okay? Dan's off, everybody wave Dan goodbye. Dan, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so holding at that 20, or sorry, that 24. After this minute is where it gets spicy, okay? You gotta stay with me. So in the next minute, I'm going to 85 RPM, which I may have to curb, we'll see. Hang on, I'm feeling. You guys are going to 28. 28, staying on the intensity, staying on the stroke rate, being consistent, shift, here we go. Stay on it, stay focused, stay engaged. Get on myself, sit up. Same with you on the machine. Stay tall, keep good posture. Fifteen more seconds. When Boo's out. Later, Boo. Have a good one, thanks for joining. Everybody say goodbye to Vu. Okay, we're gonna shift here, but not far. This is not a rest minute. You're just gonna back down to your 24, stay at medium intensity. Here we go. It's 
Stay at medium intensity. No real backing off here, okay? This is where you stay in it. That shift right there is the hardest one to stay in control. Breathing, staying in control. Focus on your exhaling right now. Fifteen seconds until we shift again. Five, three, two, one. We're back up 28 and 85. 28 stroke rate, 85 RPM. Remember your posture. Remember your connection to the legs. Stay on it. If anybody's just joining, we're finishing up a five minute interval right now. Gearing up for five minutes of rest, and then we're gonna repeat. 30 seconds left on this interval. Stay with, stay with, stay engaged. Three, two, one, off. Huh. Well, that made it interesting for sure. I don't know about you guys, but that definitely kept my interest. So we had some people say goodbye while we were going. Um, Tan, not everybody could do that. Oh. I just got the row at home today, not having first session yet, but watching your videos makes me wanting to have a rowing club here. Doubt that I could do that. So at least you've moved people's thoughts. Tan, thank you. That's amazing. Let me know if you need any help setting up a rowing club in Vietnam. That would be super cool to work on. Uh, Dan, right off. Cool down, over. I'm gonna try to join tomorrow. On concept two, otherwise probably we can. Take care all. Wanna Shane heading out also. Keep on doing what you're doing. Crush the workout. <laughs> Christine, now he's got a sweat on, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can't really see it, but I am definitely sweating under here. No, no I'm not sweating through the hat yet. Maybe another couple intervals. Speaking of intervals, we only have two left. So those of you that are here, awesome job. We're through four. So questions, what do you guys got? What can I help with? While we're here, while we're in a rest period, what can I help you with? We have two more rounds to go. Is there anything that I can give that'll make the next rounds better? I'm not riding a Concept 2 bike as well I am. This is, I'm on a bike erg. Um, I can show you after the workout, but yeah. I'm on a bike erg, ski ergs, right there. I'm on a bike erg. Pedal's been swapped out, so I've got clipless pedals here that are one side clipless, the other side are just flat. So you can jump on with regular shoes as well. Dark Horse and Concept 2 have changed my attitude and routine. Congrats to you, Sergeant Hulk is big. So, thanks for joining, Sergeant. Look forward to next time. Pass on the good stuff. Take all the good vibes, the love, the healing, sweat, pass it on to those around you. Half of this is so that you guys can share it, so you can keep the sanity yourself, get your families involved, get your loved ones involved, so that not necessarily physically in the same place, but just everybody keep moving. We need that more than ever right now. We're definitely not, like we're definitely not cave creatures who just don't leave. 
we all have to be able to leave. And that feeling of not having freedom of movement can really start to impact you if you don't, if you're unproactive about it. So this is, what is this, day four? I think I started on Monday. It's our fourth day of doing these. What do y'all think? I think I'm going to take Saturday, Sunday off, by the way. So just a heads up. Um, I'm going to have to watch a replay on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, just doing five days straight. I feel like it'd be smart of me to take some time off. Get a rest day for my body. Two, probably. For my health is probably smart. And I will probably just focus on getting good walks, walk my dog, um, stretching, good just body treatment stuff. Nancy, hey, I'm late. Oh, well, I'll watch this later when I get a break. Thanks, Shane. Nancy, welcome back. Thanks for joining, even if you're late. It's cool. We're in a round, we just finished round four of six, of five minutes on, five minutes easy. And we're heading into our fifth setup here. And... 30 seconds now. So 30 seconds from now, we're going to kick off this one. Hey, what do I want you guys to do on this one? Here's what I'd like. Every minute, I want you guys to negative split this five minutes, meaning you get faster every single minute, even if it's just by one second. Okay. It's going to put you in control of your pace. And the goal is to beat your last round's splits. Here we go. Okay. Start smart so you have room to drop. Don't start out too hot. Every minute is going to be a drop. So if you come out real hot right now, you're going to have a lot of work to still do afterwards. All right? Man, I'm really having to focus on my posture. I think I've had really crappy boss for the past three days. Can't have that happening. All right, we're just gonna drive it down as each minute goes on. Now's your time to get your breathing in control. Feel focused. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it, Nancy? Okay, we're getting ready for our first shift. I'll tilt it down so you guys can see more. Going in three, two, one. Here's our first drop. Just the slightest pickup. Okay, just one second off the split. Settling in here. Thirty more seconds. Oh, she's on the boobies. Fifteen seconds until our next shift. Just dropping one more second. Getting ready to go. Five, three, two, one. Here we go. Drop again. Pick it up ever so slightly. You just got to move faster than the last one. This minute will take us over the halfway point. Get your breathing. Everybody make sure you're exhaling. If you're on the rower, big exhales at the release. Feel that heart pumping. Feel those lungs working. Focusing on my posture. Try and do the same. Make our next shift in three seconds. Two, one. Shifting again. Make that flywheel a little noisier. 
dropping those splits. Don't be satisfied with anything less than faster than what you should do. Ten more seconds till our final shift. Two, one, final shift. Step it up again. Stay strong here. One more minute. Here we go. 45 more seconds. Come on. Let's do it together. Make sure you're going faster than the last minute. It's your fastest minute yet. Twenty seconds to go. Fifteen. Five. Three. Two. One. Easy. Whew. Keep moving. Catch up on comments here. So yes, I have the feeling that Concept 2 indoor bike makes so well an outdoor ride for cyclists like me. Spend a lot of hours on the bike out there. Yeah, love to try for sure. It does. Actually, the only difference is that it's that very typical Concept 2 flywheel feel. So you don't get any coast, which like most spin bikes you do, you stop pedaling and you can just feel it kind of run. It doesn't do that on this bike. So it forces you to always stay on the power curve, which is excellent for training the bike because you always have to make sure you're focusing on an upstroke when, as long as you have clipless pedals or cages. Um, you have to make sure that you get an upstroke. Otherwise that flywheel dies really fast. So I don't like using it with just shoes and flat pedals is because as soon as you drive down, it you get you lose your power when you don't have an upstroke. Hope that makes sense. Talking about one, two, four, five, sorry, I have like a hair on my hat. It just keeps flashing in front of my eyes. Mystery hair. Older concept to Aurora at my gym. Does monitor wear out? Are you asking if they if they wear out? Uh the answer is not really, barring damage. If they're damaged or they, you know, they've been knocked around, people slap them against the machines or things like that, or, you know, the machine or the gym has a, a weird habit of like spraying them with a cleaning solution. Yeah, that'll ruin the machines. You always want to spray a towel and then wipe the monitor, not spray the monitor and then wipe it because water will ruin it. So barring those things, impact, liquid, those that's what'll ruin a monitor. Um, MJW, what's the best way to train to keep stroke rate at 18? Is the best way to keep stroke rate at 18 and then increase resistance? That is a great way to learn it doesn't have to be 18, but learning to cap or hold your stroke rate in one location and then vary resistance is skill number one, in my opinion, after mechanics, obviously mechanics come first. Then when you get into the nuanced skills, it's isolating stroke rate and learning how to vary your power. Um, that's what you do to learn how to go faster. Uh, Yes, another tip, Shane, is to be out of the saddle as often as you can. 
uh, just make sure you're stronger, but also release lots of tension from your lower back. All makes you to enjoy that time on the bike more. Yeah, this is true. Although I've always been, I've always been an in the saddle grinder, um, like mountain climbs, because I do road bike as well. Um, I love climbs, and I love just sitting in the saddle and just grinding through and just passing people, because I I can keep that very low RPM, but consistent power supply to the pedals. But standing up really does help to release a lot from the lower back when you can. Cycling was always our cross training for rowing in the off season um, so that we could continue training. Not continue, but like during the summers when rowing was done, when we needed just something else to do, I was always on my bike putting in the miles because the best way to, I don't know, I love, I love touristing on a bike because you can cover so much ground and see so many things. It's so fun. Our 45 seconds left until our final five minutes. I'm leaving this one open, except every minute, I'm gonna hit you with a power 10, meaning you're gonna take 10 strokes where you're focusing on higher power output. This is gonna be your fastest five minutes yet, okay? Every minute, you take a power 10. That's 10 strokes for power where the split comes down, Afterwards, you go back to exactly to where you were. You don't come off like it's a rest. You stay engaged and stay on, okay? 10 seconds, this is our last round to go. And three, two, one, here we go. Focus on that posture. Focus on breathing. I'm half telling myself right now, but you can benefit from it. I'll tell you when to take your power tens. In three, two, one. Here we go. Power ten. Ten strokes for power. Good, you're probably coming off that right about now. Right back to that settling pace. Remember, you need to beat last round's time. We are negative splitting this whole workout today, so every five minutes is faster than the previous. Getting ready for our next power 10. Five. Two, one, here we go. Power 10, stay engaged, stay on, pushing through the legs. Let's go. Okay, go right back to that target pace when you're done. No falling off. We're gonna stay engaged together here. Getting ready for our third one. Three. Two, one, here we go, another power 10. Hit it. Hear your flywheel get louder. Feel your legs push more. Feel the burn and quads. Build in your glutes. Feel your midline, bracing to resist it. Okay, come off of it. 
Don't let it slip away. Here we go. I love that the comments have gotten quiet. That means you're working. We have two more power tens left. You got this. Come on. Dig deep. Find it somewhere. You know where to push. Come on. Two. One. Power ten. Let's go. Stay calm. Don't do it by losing control. Do it by finding extra control. Deep in the focus. Deep in the connection. This one's bringing us to our final minute. Okay. Settling. Take a look at your average split right now. Make sure that you're gonna beat that last time. If not, you can start going now to drop it low enough to beat your last split. Otherwise, we're gearing up for our final power 10. And that final power 10 is gonna bring us right through the finish line. Three, two, one, hit it, here we go. Don't make it a power 10, make it a final power of 30 seconds. All the way through the line. All the way through the line, come on. Stay connected with me. Time. Nice job. But we're not done. We got five minutes to cool down together. If you've been doing body weight workouts, nice job. Let me know what how many rounds you were getting each five minute interval. I'm curious. And if you were rowing, let me know how many meters you were getting per interval. On the bike, same thing. Let me know your results. I was at uh, 2,588 on that last one. Yes, yeah, cycling did my mental transition to rowing so smooth. And then rowing paid off back to my cycling, making me a stronger cyclist. My legs are right now so big like never before. Yeah. Yeah. Rowing and cycling. All about those legs. You know what I just realized? I kept saying I had hair in my eye. It's steam. <laughs> coming off of my head and it's catching my eye because it's been cold here rainy and cold not a great combo for being stuck inside all right guys you're just gently spinning now whoop now breathe that's right Christina just nice gentle rowing spinning enjoy the aftermath Teresa you did one minute rounds instead of 10 count I'm wiped out oh perfect Nice. Good job. How was that? How many so how many reps were you getting inside each minute then, Teresa? Uh, now's your time to enjoy, guys. This is where you enjoy the recovery. You enjoy the, the glow. Right? Enjoy the warmth. Enjoy the feeling of release. Enjoy the sweat. You earned every bit of what you just went through. So now's your time to revel in it. Let it impact your day. Let it impact what you're going to do. Let it impact who you are and the people that are around you. Kaylin just popped in to say goodnight. Say great workout. Look forward to it tomorrow. You will. It's a good one. Enduring increase in my pain tolerance is all that it will do for sure, yes. But I digress. Guys, this is your opportunity to really be proud of yourselves. You showed up. You did it. The hour's gone. While it may have felt like an eternity inside the minute, the hour is just a blink of an eye in reality. So if you put yourself through the work, congratulations. You should be proud of it. Um, and now you get to just move on from here, whether it's the beginning of your day or the end. Uh, Monday, concept two comes. Nice, get excited. Thank you, you're welcome, Tristan. Really. Just enjoy this cool off now, guys. Enjoy everything you get to do after this. Whether it's sleep or start your day, like me. <laughs> um, now the 
the good stuff gets to happen. And remember, for hours after this, hours, your body's continuing to work. Your body's continuing to deliver benefits from putting in the time and the effort, especially if you were taking that intensity up today inside of those five minutes. It's always important to think of the span of time that these workouts last and then translate that into your actions later in the day. Too many people say, the workout's done, I'm off the clock. It's exactly the opposite. Because of all the good stuff that's happening, um, how do I get a notification to make sure I don't miss this live? Uh, when you subscribe or next to the subscribe button, there's usually a little bell. Hit that, and then you get alerted when they're, uh, when they're up. And then also just check the, the channel each day, because I'm scheduling them at the moment. So, yes, yeah, thanks again, Shane, for this new beast that you've created on myself sport wise good job ds yes where are you again i'm sorry remind me um but my point being because of the lasting effects of these workouts guys it's important that you continue to treat your body really well use this as motivation to put better food in use this as motivation to drink more water because your body's currently looking for its resources the last thing you want to do is deliver poor resources when your body's in a state of joy, like it is right now, where it's beginning to say, all right, we got all sorts of great stuff going on. You have good hormones flowing through your body. The last thing you want to do is put bad stuff in there when it's looking for nourishment. And nourish it with good foods, nourish it with liquid, hydrate with water. Don't put sugar into your body. Your body needs real foods. And just find a way to access that. Ooh, that's our five minutes now. So, guys, fantastic work. That's workout number four. That's hard to believe. I've already done four of these, but I appreciate all of you being here for all of these. Thank you so much. My uh, my wife has joined you as well. Say hi, Kian. She doesn't hear us. But I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, you too, Teresa. Guys, if you loved this, please, please, please share it. Just don't spread it on social. It's all free for a reason. I just want people to be able to have a community to come to. Get your friends elsewhere involved. Say, hey, we're going to just do this together, even though you're in your own home. So we're going to do this together tomorrow. Um, join it this time. Really appreciate the love. The share. Give it a thumbs up. Tell YouTube you like it. That's how you do it. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And then we're going to take Saturday, Sunday off. Cool? Um, just checking in with any last comments, Christina. Thanks, Jane. Really enjoyed that. Hopefully I can join you soon. It's better than work. That's for sure. Christina, glad you're on the men. Thank you. I appreciate that. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Uh, someone or another, darn it. I missed it. <laughs> Tan, bye. Let me know about that Vietnam thing. I, I want to track it. You let me know if you decide to do that. Um, someone or another, darn it. That's all right. You got the replay, my friend. Thanks for joining in. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.